Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of At Home With Dan during this lockdown period. Uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you one of my favourite sauces. Sometimes, so today I'm making a hollandaise sauce. Um, and a hollandaise sauce is great because from a hollandaise sauce you can then go on to make a lot of other sauces. Uh, you can add different things to a hollandaise sauce which then makes it a different sauce of things like if you add tarragon and red wine vinegar to it you make a bernay sauce. So for the hollandaise sauce the first thing I've done which I've already done is make some clarified butter. So in this pan I put one full block so 250 grams of butter into here. And what I've done is I've kind of bring it up, brought it up to the boil, it's melted, brought it up to the boil and then I've taken it off and let it cool down. And as it cools down what happens is the fat separates from the milk and all the milk protein and whey goes down to the bottom of the pan. So when we come to make our hollandaise we just want to use the butter, the fat, so the clarified butter off the top. So that's our clarified butter. And then what I've got going on here, so in this pan I've already got four tablespoons of water and I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. To that I'm just going to add a couple of twists of salt, so it's like a pinch of salt. Give that a little mix together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that over here and I'm going to reduce that by a third just to intensify. So I'll put that there, let that come up to heat. Right guys, so the vinegar mix has been on for a few minutes and I've also just let it cool down a little bit so it's not still at boiling temperature. So the next thing we're going to do is get our eggs. So I've got, in this bowl, I've got four egg yolks. I'm just going to give them a little bit up. And then we're just going to take our vinegar mix and then we're just going to slowly add it to the egg mix and whisk. Now what I'm going to do is place the bowl over a bay marisa. Basically it's a lightly simmering pan of water. Pop that over there. As soon as you've put your bowl on the bain marie, you need, to, you need to work your eggs, you need to whisk your eggs. If you just let them sit, what you're going to end up with is scrambled egg in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, so you just want to whisk. And we're looking for a really kind of thick, light and fluffy uh, egg mixture. Uh, it kind of goes to like a sabion, pretty much. So we just need to keep mixing that until it gets to the cook stage, which is really thick and it leaves a ribbon in the bowl. Could take five minutes or so, five to six minutes. If at any point you think your pan's getting too hot, what you can do is just lift your bowl off if you think it's gonna start cooking too quickly and then put it back. Right guys, so a few minutes have passed and I can already see that the mix is starting to thicken up. Um, it's going really nice and white and light and fluffy and it's starting to leave a little ribbon in the into the bowl there. Right guys, so we've now got the base egg cooked. It's gone really nice and thick and creamy. It's doubled in size. So hopefully you can see there. And it leaves a nice thick ribbon in the bowl. So now that's at the cook stage, we'll take that off the heat. And from here, what we're gonna do is slowly incorporate our clarified butter into the mix. So like I said, the clarified butter is already done. And what I'm gonna do is just Pour that in in a kind of gentle stream, in a steady stream. So that's now all of my clarified butter added and I don't know if you can see in the bottom of the pan there, but I'm just left with the milk solids there. So that's finished with. And then we're left with our lovely, glossy, thick, smooth, creamy hollandaise sauce. 